We must stand with our allies in Israel. We must send humanitarian aid to innocent civilians in Gaza. We must hold the line against Vladimir Putin by supporting Ukraine. And we must rebuff the aggressions of the Chinese Communist Party in the Indo-Pacific. The best, most efficient, and fastest way to help is through bipartisanship. In fact, it's the only way. And that's why I was so deeply disappointed by Speaker Johnson's first major legislative action, a purely partisan action. House Republicans released a partisan and woefully inadequate package with no aid to Ukraine, no humanitarian assistance for Gaza, no funding for Indo-Pacific, and poison pills that help wealthy tax cheats avoid paying their fair share. And the irony of it all is, their whole idea with pay for is to reduce the deficit. This poison pill increases the deficit. Their price for helping Israel and abandoning America's responsibilities around the globe, making it much easier for the ultra-rich to cheat on their taxes. How the heck could that be their highest priority? It's only when the hard right governs the Republican caucus. All friends of Israel should say loudly and clearly that any move to make the U.S.-Israel relationship a partisan one is a move that hurts Israel. 